Three significant dinosaur finds have been recently found in Winton, Australia. Bones of two new gigantic sauropods named Diamantinosaurus and Wintona Titan were found at the same site as this new predator, Astralovenator. The sheer volume of material is massive. What have you found? What have we got here? We've got three dinosaurs on here in bits and pieces. Actually, we've probably got about five, but three main ones. There's Matilda. Matilda's the large um, uh, sauropod dinosaur. Yep. Um, we've got uh, Banjo, who is a theropod. Yep. They're in the same pit together, so they, they both they both as carcasses tied together for yep. some whatever reasons. Fantastic. Wade is another another big sauropod. Some of these blocks here are vertebrae from Wade. Mm -hmm. right. Both Matilda, Wade and Banjo have all got a tremendous amount of more material still to mm. prepare mm. and we are still digging at those sites. So yep. what yep. we see here is only what we have prepared so far, mm. not what we have mm. actually got. So basically massive limb bones, uh, sauropods, yeah. brontosaurus-like things, 30, 40 metres long. Yep and a carnivorous yeah. dinosaur. Well, this is Matilda. Uh, Matilda is a sauropod type specimen of Diamantinosaurus matildae, yeah. which yeah, means so. Diamantino river, li river lizard, I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> what sort of animal would you reconstruct this as being? It'd be probably 18, 20 meter long sauropod. Yeah, yeah. so a big long neck, four legged fella. Um, very, very unusual animal, very, very robust Matilda was. It was a very thick, heavy sort of animal. Mm -hmm. And when you compare that to another dinosaur from the site where, next door to where we dug from here, which is only about three kilometres away, there's uh, the other type of specimen that's, um, just, uh, that's just been released, and that is the um, that is, uh, Wintono Titan. And uh, Wintono Titan is like more like a giraffe, if you could say, and this is more like a hippo, so Matilda's more like a hippo. She would have had a big backside and would have wobbled around a bit. Yeah. Fantastic name. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, this, this material is... Uh, around about 95 to 98 million years old so that you know where we have our digs is what we call the Winton formation which is this area goes all the way down to south australia doesn't yeah. it? really a little bit of a yeah. patchwork so basically all these huge bones what does that tell you a little bit about the environment what's going on how are these things getting how did this this animal die why is it here? yeah well it, it was obviously some sort of a flood deposit uh, but or it, pretty well every dinosaur bone we find is, has been preserved in mud. It's not, you know, they, that's, the only, that's the only way they have yeah. been preserved. So it's very, very fine silt deposits mm -hmm. and they have been mud, basically, and the animals either been washed in there by, by a flood or it's been bogged or died on the edge of the waters or killed on the edge of the water or something similar. With Matilda, Matilda was what, um, you know, according to um, Scotty Hockmill at the Queensland Museum, that was uh, probably a billabong, some type of billabong, and, and it was either bogged or drowned, one of the two, and you know, 